to another awesome video. Hey, you remember camcorders? Yes. You do? You're probably too young. Well, if you still have a camcorder lying around, we're going to show you a way to bring it back to life as a video conferencing web camera for Microsoft Teams or Zoom or whatever. Why would you even want to do this? Well, depending on how your home office is set up, a separate camera may help eliminate those weird camera angles and unflattering views. Or if you're a teacher who's been working with blackboards for years and you realize that fixed lens is less than ideal for showing documents to your students, the zoom and focus features of a camcorder will allow you to focus on a document or blackboard in a way that might be a lot better than something you could improvise on your own. Look, like this. there's a teacher. Yeah. In this example, by the way, the shark will be a teacher and a dinosaur will be our student. So I tried this for a week and in this video we're going to show you the results. Well I will start by saying the solution is not for everybody. If you don't already have a camcorder it's probably not worth buying one because webcams are so cheap. And there's all sorts of things you could do with software but the goals of this project are simplicity and low cost. And I will say if you can get this to work for you it basically is plug and play. Let's talk about what you need. First you have to have a camcorder with HDMI output. Not component, not composite, but HDMI. This Canon actually has many HDMI, but I've got this cable that makes it HDMI. You also need to leave the camera running for hours at a time, so you need to find the power cord and have a nearby outlet so the camera can stay plugged in. And then you need one of these dongles. This is the only thing I had to buy. It was $19. Actually, it was free because of my Amazon points. Here's what's in the box. This one actually came with a little USB extension cable, which was nice. The concept is very simple. This device takes HDMI input on one side and converts it to be a USB video device on the other. You just plug it in between the camcorder and your PC, and that's it. It's pretty cool, but it was broken at first. Yeah. These things are not very high quality. The first one I bought was broken, but... Uh, if you get a working one, setup is easy. You turn on the camcorder and you zoom it in to what you want to focus on. In this case, I focused on a chalkboard about four feet away from the camera over my shoulder. And then you just plug it into your PC. Blah, blah. It recognizes it in a couple of seconds. You don't have to install any additional software. And after that, you can check it and make sure it's working by launching the Windows 10 camera app. And so with the Windows 10 camera app, you actually have a little button up here in the corner for switching cameras. And so you press that button and it calls this one USB video and on mine it called the other one your integrated webcam and you can switch back and forth. Now my workplace uses Microsoft Teams. When you're in Microsoft Teams you can just click on the small thumbnail that shows your picture in the lower right hand corner. Again in our example the shark is the teacher, he's lecturing, you click that and boom the blackboard shows up for the students. It's that easy. Here's a video capture of what it looks like from the teacher's side. You're seeing the student, you see yourself down in the corner and you click the button and it switches. What? Over to here, Bob! <laughs> yeah, it does sort of look like a uh, TV news station switcher, you know. And here's what it looks like from the student side. So they basically see whatever the camera's seeing. So that can be really useful if you want to draw on a chalkboard. For some reason, why is a shark in a dino? You know, they're teaching about, you know, which fish to eat and plants. I, I don't know. But, uh... Wait, the, the T-Rex is a meat eater. Okay. Anyway, there's a video capture of what it looks like. You can also zoom into a piece of paper. I think that's some, old, that? that's some of your homework I just grabbed. But anyway, so basically you've got all the features of the camcorder available for focusing, zooming, and all that kind of stuff. And your homework is tonight to subscribe to our video. So the initial setup, as you can see, is pretty easy. But how does it actually work in real life? I used it for a week, and, and I found out a couple of things. First of all, my camcorder worked flawlessly. It's 12 years old. I basically started my work day powering it up, left it run all day, and turned it off at the end of the day. It uses SD cards, so there's no moving parts. During meetings, I was able to uh, switch cameras. There's a little kind of cool factor, like when people first discovered custom backgrounds. It's also kind of funny, since this camcorder records and plays back recordings, you can also like record yourself just looking like you're paying attention to a meeting and then play that back or play whatever video you want from the camcorder back, like and pipe in footage of the dog. So the camcorder worked fine. The dongle, the device itself, Worked pretty good too. I would use a word of caution here. The first one of these I bought was dead on arrival. I got this message about a power surge. It never worked, so I returned it and got another one. Uh, but I did leave mine plugged into the laptop all day, every day. I never turned off the laptop. I never turned off the device. I think the laptop went to uh, uh, sleep. It got a little warm, but never got Wait, hot. Wait, will you get pulled away if it shows like the play above the screen? What do you mean? Like when you play the camcorder video, it will. Yeah, it'll show that. But you could you could switch to another camera and switch back while the video is running so then it could look like you're listening to a meeting. I participated in several hours of video meetings. During one of the meetings the picture started flickering like it was having trouble syncing and the people on the other end of the meeting noticed it immediately. In order to fix that all I did was click the switch cameras back and forth. That only happened once out of probably you know five hours of video meetings. Never happened again. 
it works in a corporate environment just fine just for switching angles and I used that to switch to better lighting so I wasn't backlit as much but now I'm going to pass it on to a math teacher who's going to try it out and we'll uh, let you know how it works for him but that about brings this video to a close see you next time for another awesome video bye 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 bye